Whiskey sours are one of my top two favorite cocktails to enjoy. But sometimes you gotta change things up. Let's see what a rhubarb whiskey sour tastes like. Well, for our second rhubarb cocktail of the week, we did a variation of whiskey sour. Yes. Was hoping we could get something similar to a peach crisp or mm -hmm. a rhubarb crisp. You know, the best cobbler dessert out there, in my humble opinion. I wouldn't disagree, but I need to try more. Right. <laughs> Challenge accepted. So if someone wants to bake us a bunch of cobbler pies. It's not pie. It's a cobbler. Oh. Okay. It's easier than pie. That's true. So we decided, or you decided to, we're, we're going to use the Rittenhouse Rye mm -hmm. Risky because it's a high proof, but it also has a good flavor to it. Yeah. A little bit spicy, like yep. the spices in a cobbler or a crisp. Yep, and then the rhubarb kind of give obviously the sweetness, but then also just give that rhubarb flavor to kind of the, the tart, sink through, yeah. tart through it. With the lemon will enhance that for sure. Yep. And then you decided to use what bitters did you want us to use? Um, well, we have peach, walnut, and cardamom. Yep. So I thought peach and walnut would go really well together. Right. The, the walnut gives that nuttiness, that earthiness to it, and that peach again just kind of brightens, should brighten it up with yep. it. Because rhubarb is always like a secondary fruit for the most part. Mm -hmm. Like some people make rhubarb pies, but most of the time it's like, it's got apple or in my favorite, it's strawberry, strawberry. Yeah. or- It's always a secondary sweetness of the bunch. Yeah, usually. the secondary fruit. Yeah, exactly. So I think this should go well. I went a little heavier on the peach bitters. I went about five or six dashes. I just did, I thought it might need it more, but then also I kind of wanted that peach to sing with mm -hmm. it also. And then the walnut, just a couple, because I don't think you need a bunch of it. Right. You just kind of want it there in the background. Right. Again, we've never made this before. Nope. This is going to be our first time trying it. Yep. Should we? Shall we? Let's shall. Shall we should. Ding. It does taste like a cobbler crisp on the back end. It kind of does. I don't really get any walnut. No, but no, the the walnut the walnut's there. It's just supposed to give it that baked flavor, in my opinion. Like okay. it's just like make it taste like it just came out of the oven. I will say this. I don't think this needs an egg white. I think you can drink this as whiskey sour on rocks. Maybe. You could, probably. I guess it's it's not as dominant as a whiskey sour, normal whiskey sour with or without an egg white. Like, those two are very right. um, differentiated. I think this one, though, could be wrong. Obviously, we've never tried it before, so. Let's see if we need a little bit of cardamom on the nose, okay. what do you think? Yeah. I almost want a little bit more cinnamon, though. Or I, yeah. I almost want cinnamon in it. I'm not really getting the peach all too much, either. I think I am. I think it just mixed nicely with the rhubarb. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Again, yeah. I think this is, it's, again, this is just a good variation, just something a little different, right. a little bit more fruity than you would with your whiskey sour. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't really tell that we use an overproof rye whiskey in this thing. Right. Which is dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we were going to do this again, I would want to make the rhubarb simple with another fruit, like... Mm. strawberry or, or apple or peach or something yeah rather than try to get the the additional fruit with the bitters right but i think it would work yeah but again this is fine i mean it's good enjoyable yeah i'm getting the rhubarb which is lovely you know no since you put the cardamom on there and it's not as sour as a normal whiskey sour right i think that rhubarb and the peach really tone down that lemon mm -hmm. a lot you can still taste it all it's still sour but not as potent as a normal whiskey sour right which, if you're not big into whiskey sours, this might be a nice one to kind of yeah. step your foot into that realm. Right. If you want to see our first rhubarb cocktail that we did this week, it's a rhubarb shrub cocktail with gin. It's right over there for you. Check that out. It's easy, crushable. And we've got a ton of rhubarb symbol left. So let me know what your favorite recipes are. Put them in the comments. We'll try them out. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.